Hello there, I'm Tim Curran, half of the finance couple, and welcome to Two Minutes with Tim, where we look to infuse financial planning with just a little bit of common sense. So I got to thinking about what's happening in Congress right now. There is a Republican uh, congressman, his name's Matt Gates, Matt Getz. Essentially, he alone, there are some people that backed him, but essentially, um, he got rid of the Speaker of the House. Uh, McCarthy. And and now um, the Republicans seem to be in turmoil, seem to be in chaos in Congress right now, trying to scramble to find another leader. The reason why, in my opinion, please, this is just my opinion, but there's no planning. Getz or Gates, whatever you want to call him, made, again, this is my opinion, a a tactical error, a a really stupid move. He got rid of the Speaker of the House without knowing what's going to happen thereafter. He had no plans to install somebody else, nor did the Republicans. It doesn't make sense. Why am I bringing this up? Because financial planning is all about creating a plan. We've said this ad nauseum, but in good times and bad, you should be planning for good times and bad. You should plan how all the pieces of your financial puzzle were worked together, where, whether it's investments or taxes or cash flow or your state plan. All those different pieces of the puzzle need to work together and you need to plan how they will work together for your benefit in the future. As they say, hope is not a strategy. You need to create a plan. I hope this makes sense. Again, please understand this is strictly my opinion, especially when you get into politics. I'm not picking parties here. I'm just saying it doesn't make sense to create an action without having a plan. Hope you have a great week. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great rest of the week. And as always, please mind your state of mind. Take care.